I know what you're thinking right now. There's not enough Colin Cowherd in my life. <laughs> I hear it every day from my family. Listen, if you want more, subscribe. This week, the talk inevitably is about Belichick and Brady colliding in Foxborough on Sunday night, Bucks patriots matchup. Because we all love drama, we love tabloid headlines. And this story has generated lots of them. Uh, Belichick treated Brady like a child. The feud ruined a dynasty. Uh, none, of course, are true. But I, I think for the sake of drama, many people are ignoring the basic human element at the heart of this story. Uh, there was a study I saw about a year ago. It was conducted by the co-author of Freakonomics, Stephen Levitt. He's an economist at the University of Chicago. And he asked about 20,000 people to make a decision in their life on a dilemma they were currently facing. And the decision had to be made solely based on the results of a coin toss. And the dilemma was, should I start my own business? Should I propose? Should I grow a beard? And if the coin landed on heads, then they had to make the subsequent change. Tails, and they didn't. So what were the results? Well, they're interesting. When the researchers followed up six months later, they found that for the important decisions like quitting a job or ending a relationship, <clears throat> Brady, people who were told to make a change were more satisfied and happier and productive than those who maintained the status quo. And I think that's important to note with Brady. It's very easy to just say, well, he inherited better players, but he isn't just revitalized because he left Belichick. It's because he made a massive change in his life that had far-reaching benefits in his approach to everything. And I say this because I've done it three times myself. And there is a productivity jump and an inertia and an energy and an emotional jump and spark that is created from the fear of a new job from the apprehension, the anxiety of a new environment and a new job. I've done this three times. I am a better broadcaster today than five years ago. Why? Because there's a certain energy that is created by changing environments, changing coasts, changing people. Not every single element of my current job is better than my former job. But what happens when you push yourself into a new space is the, the enemy of great is content. And most people listening to this podcast, men or women, are underachieving at some point in your life. And you're underachieving not because you don't have talent. It's because you're content. You're not creating new energy. It's not just that he got Mike Evans. That I would argue that his leadership improved, that his productivity personally improved emotionally, he's in a better place. He went from dour, cold, freezing weather to sunshine, um, new assistants, new playbook, had to learn them very quickly. All these things, it's like battery cables to your life. And I can speak to this because I've seen it happen to me three different times. Um, all of them post 40, 45 years old. If Brady stays in New England, it's not just about the lack of wide receiver weapons. Same playbook, same people, same weather, same drive, no freshness, no newness. And I think a lot of this has revitalized, jump-started sort of an energy within Tom. And I know this sounds very zen and very Phil Jackson, but anybody listening to this show that has started a new challenging job. It really enhances your abilities, all of them, emotionally and physically. And I think what happens to a lot of people is you get content. Same drive, same people, same playbook, same coaching. You're a chef, same menu, same restaurant. And then you decide, I'm going to open up a new restaurant. And a year later, you're like, oh, I was so stale. But some of this with Brady 
He's happier. He's more joyful. He's more challenged. Day to day, his productivity beyond just football, I bet if you ask Tom, has improved. 